Hey y'all, it's Kian Bravon. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be budgeting my part-time paycheck from my nursing job. This is going to be my second bi-weekly paycheck for this month. If you guys are new to my channel, I basically take my budgeting month by the first paycheck of that month until the first paycheck of the following month. So this month, my first paycheck that had a February date was February 12th. My first paycheck of March that has a March date is March 11th. 11th, which is why my budget goes from February 12th until March 10th. So before we can do this paycheck here, we first have to reconcile the first paycheck. I've done a lot of the math and everything already. If I go back to my expense tracker, I didn't really spend a whole lot of money. You guys can see up here that my total budget for my variable expenses for this month is $13.45 and when I did this math last night, I did all of this stuff last night. I didn't have my red pen and I was too lazy to go get it. So I only spent $353.11. I did go ahead and go on my New Orleans trip. You guys will see that vlog next Friday. But yeah, I didn't really buy a lot. I had to get a couple of business items like bracket mounts for my camera. Uh, what else? I got a phone case. I got some black boots. I got some scissors for my mukbangs. Um, bought some gifts for a baby shower for my best friend the baby will be here in april i bought my mom and my auntie some reading glasses that are also blue blockers and that's pretty much it you guys can see i didn't spend hardly any money on my new orleans trip that's that you guys so yeah i spent a total of 353 11 and my budget should have been like 600 and something dollars 610 i think so let's go ahead and go here so as far as fixed expenses go, again, this is from the very first paycheck. I did have my car insurance, got the uh, travel membership that came out of my account as well. Let's go down here to the variable expenses. Again, I did spend $353.11, but I, do, I did separate my supplements and my New Orleans trip out of there. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of math to figure out how much came from each portion. So as far as my supplements go, the budget was $50. I only spent, 36.65 which means that I was under budget for that $13.35 my New Orleans trip you guys can see there I budgeted $75 so if I take out the uber and the other uber and then the one meal that I had I did do a turnaround trip so I came back the same day that means that I was under budget by $28.73 All right, so 353.11. If I subtract the 36.65 from my supplements, and I also subtract the 15.31, the 9.91, and the 21.05 all from my New Orleans trip, that means the total that I spent on my budget ex expenses, gas, groceries, shopping, business, all of that is 270.19. My budget was 6.10. So if I subtract those two, that means I was under budget by 339.81. And I'm gonna go ahead and double check the math. So 735 is what the total budget was for my variable expenses for this particular paycheck. If I subtract the 339.81 that I was under budget there, the 13.35, and then the 28.73, that gives me the 353.11, which was the total that I had for my variable expenses, as you guys can see here. So moving along, I did send out the entire 284.20 for my savings, so we are good there. And I do want to go ahead and total out this plus or minus column. So 339.81 plus 13.35 plus 28.73. So I was under budget this paycheck, a total of 381.89. Pretty good. So let's do the reconciliation down here and then we're gonna move on to paycheck two. So I did start this paycheck with a checking balance of $4,000. I always start my new budgets for the month off at $4,000. My paycheck was $1166.38, which means the total amount I had to start off with was $5166.38. 
My fixed expenses ended up being a total of $159.66 as projected. Variable was only $353.11 versus $735. I did send off to $84.20 for my savings. So $51.66.38, we're gonna subtract the $159.66 subtract the 353.11 and subtract the 284.20, which means that my ending balance was $4,369.41. Now, I also need to go ahead and add in my YouTube paycheck or what is left over after sending money off for taxes and also savings. And the reason why I have to do that in here is because I got paid on February 21st and you guys can see that's within these two total dates. Um, for the beginning and end of my first paycheck. So because of that, that money is gonna be sitting in my checking account and I have to make sure that it's accounted for in my reconciliation. So we're gonna add the 153.53 here. And if you miss me budgeting my YouTube paycheck, I will make sure that I link that video up in the eye in the sky. That was a video that just came out on Wednesday. So. My balance for my checking account is $45.2294, and that definitely was correct. Just so you guys know, I do use credit cards for all of my variable expenses, and I make sure that I pay the balance off basically at the end of that particular paycheck. So I'm making a full payment every two weeks. Okay, so now we are here, and I actually just got paid a couple of hours ago so let me look up what my paycheck was I have been having to stay like an extra 15 minutes a couple of times um, the last couple of times that I worked but I don't know if that was affected on this particular paycheck if or if it's gonna be my next one so yeah I'm glad I didn't write that in all right so 11 77 28 instead of 66 38 is the amount that we have for this week so as far as which budget we are going to be going off of this is the monthly paycheck to paycheck overview that i did when i did my budget with me for the month of february we are going to be going off of this week here so this week the only things that i have is my regular budget for the um budgeted expenses gas groceries all of that that's 610 dollars i do have my stock club that is very new i just started that last month that'll be 20 dollars, and i'm actually gonna write these down so i don't have to come back to them so we got the budget of 16 the stock club at 20 and then Wells First is my health insurance. That's going to be $165.22. And then Liberty Dental is going to be $954. <clears throat> and I need to know dates. <laughs> All right, so this comes out, not one, $229. And then these two come out on the 1st of March. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and go back here. So, like I said before, the fixed expenses I have Wells first, which is my health insurance that is due on March 1st, and the amount is $165.22. Then we have Liberty Dental. That's going to come out on March 1st, and that's going to be $9.54. Oh, man. Eh. I hate to erase out. No, because that's going to drive me crazy. I'm a little OCD, so I forgot about the stock club. And I can't write it last because then the dates are going to be all out of order, and that ain't going to... I can't do it. I cannot look at that. <laughs> okay. So, lip, No. Why did I write that again? Jesus Christ. Stock Club. Is due on the 29th. That's going to be $20. Then we have Wells First. And that's due on the 1st. Again, 165.22. 
Liberty Dental is due on the 1st. And that's gonna be 954. And then we have unbudgeted. And that's just for fixed expenses that I might have forgotten about, maybe a yearly expense, or like last month, I started a new monthly expense. You can't really budget for that. Okay, so let's see what the total is. We got 20, 165, 22, 954. So the total for fixed expenses for this paycheck is gonna be 194.76. And remaining out of the total amount of the check is gonna be 194.76. Or I'm sorry, if I subtract the 194.76, the remaining is 982.52. So now as far as variable expenses go, literally the only thing I have is the budgeted expenses. There's no due date because it's going to go the entire two weeks and that's $610. And then we can go ahead and do the unbudgeted amount. So total is 610. Remaining is still positive. So I'm gonna keep the green pin out. So remaining is gonna be 372.52. Okay, so now it's time to do the savings portion. And before we start to calculate all of that, I'm gonna just write in where I'm sending money off to. So we have the miscellaneous slash investment sinking fund. I'm gonna be sending that off today, which is the 26th. I'm gonna be sending money to my car sinking fund. Then we have the travel sinking fund. And then we have the reconciliation down. And the reconcile down is gonna happen at the end of the month. And by reconcile down, basically, uh, if you are new to my channel, I always start my new budgets for a brand new budget month. I start my checking account at $4,000. So basically at the end of the month, however much is in excess of $4,000 in my checking account, I take that entire amount. I don't care if it's $1,000, $1,200, or just $200, I send that off to savings. All right, so to be able to calculate how much that's going to be being sent off to savings, 1177.28. Let's see, 1177.28. So this month, as you guys know, I'm sending 65% of my allocations to my checking account for variable expenses because I've already taken care of my fixed expenses. And then 35% is going to go to savings. I use a method called the income allocation method. This is the method that I use to get out of debt. It's a method I came up with myself. And basically I start to allocate money for variable expenses, savings, and debt if I was still in debt. Uh, after I have earned enough money to cover my fixed expenses basically. Once I start allocating money towards my savings, in one paycheck for that month, every paycheck that I have from there on out or any amount of money, I don't care if my grandma gives me $20, I split everything off the exact same way that I did prior to earlier in the month. So 1177.28 is the paycheck. We have 65% going to checking and then 35% going to savings. Now with this 35%, we will be breaking that number down for the miscellaneous slash investment sinking fund, the car sinking fund, and then the travel fund. So 1177.28, 65% is 765.23. Yeah. So 765.23. And then if I subtract that from my total paycheck, that's gonna leave me with $412.05 to send off to savings. So 
So let's go ahead and break this down. 50% goes to miscellaneous slash investment sinking fund. 25% goes to car and 25% goes to travel. You don't have to break down your savings into multiple accounts if you don't want to. You don't have to break it down the way that I do. You could just say, hey, 200 goes here, 200 goes here, and whatever's left over goes here. Everybody does theirs a little bit different. I'm just really meticulous with my money, and there's a reason why I break it down the way that I do. Okay, so of the 41205, again, 50% is going to go to the miscellaneous slash investment sinking fund, and that is going to be... $206 and I'm going to round up to three cents because after I subtract this from the total amount, I need it to be an even number because I'm going to be splitting it in half and you can't split an odd number in half. So for 1205, I'm going to subtract 20603. And the reason why I round up instead of down for this one is because this account for me is the most important um personally just because i will always need money to be able to invest in myself invest in businesses invest in whatever and i think that's way more important than having money just sitting in an account for you know car repairs things that don't really come up as often i do travel a little bit kind of often but i'm more so concerned about my future and my future is investing <laughs> so if I subtract those, 20602 is what's left over. So we're just going to divide that in half. And this is what we're going to end up with for those other two accounts. So let's go ahead and write that in. And then we will be figuring out how much we're going to reconcile the account down to a projection. Most of the time, I reconcile way more than what I have written down. All right. So let's go ahead and total that up. I do my total not based off of the reconciliation being accounted for because that's not really coming out of this particular check, it's coming out of what's in excess of all of my checks for that particular month. So remaining, and this looks really weird, it's gonna look like I'm overspending, but I promise you I'm not. So we had 372.52 remaining after our fixed and variable expenses, but then I just sent 412.05 off to my savings account. So that means I'm negative 3553 for this particular paycheck. So it looks like I'm overspending. But if you guys look here from last week, and this is the calculation we just did, I had $381 left over from the last paycheck cycle. So I'm covered. <laughs> okay, so let's do the projected reconciliation down here. So the beginning balance is the ending balance from last paycheck, which was 45.2294. The income is 1177.28. And I know the actual is going to be the same for this one. Okay, so 45.2294 minus, or no, plus 1177.28 is going to give me a total starting balance of 5722 cents. Fixed expenses is $194.76. Variable for this paycheck is $610. We sent $412.05 to savings. So let's calculate what that is. So that's going to give me an ending balance of $400. $4,483.41, which means that if I reconcile that down, I will have an additional $483.41 to send off to my savings to give me an ending balance of $4,000 to start my new paycheck cycle with 483.41. All right, you guys. So that is it for this if you guys have any questions whatsoever feel free to leave them down below i hope you guys enjoyed the video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already but other than that i will see you guys in the next video bye guys